the Samsung made apps are vast. And at this point, it's very difficult to know which ones you're actually meant to be using. But there is one lurking around in the background that is such a powerful tool that you need to be using it. Today, we deep dive into the app that helps you with all things noise related, it's Sound Assistant. Let's go. So you've come here to learn a bit more about Sound Assistant. Fair enough. This is an app that I don't think nearly enough people are using. If you're using it right now, chuck a comment below and let the people that don't know about it that they should be using it and to watch this video. Do it. So where do we find this mythical Sound Assistant app? Well, there's two ways. The first way is if you download Goodlock from the Galaxy Store, it is in the Life Up section of the Goodlock app. And it's just a module that you can download through there amongst many others. Otherwise, if you don't fancy Goodlock and don't want to download it, you can actually just download Sound Assistant directly from the Galaxy Store. It's just as easy as that. Search for Sound Assistant, it'll be there. The other question you've probably got is, why do I need Sound Assistant? Well, over the course of this video, I'm going to go through each and every function of Sound Assistant and hopefully answer that question for you. This app is the perfect way to customize your sound experience on your Samsung phone and give you the tweaks and customization that you've never been able to do before. So let's dive in into Sound Assistant, first option that's there. Firstly, there's the three dots. Now this isn't a settings menu or an extra features menu. This is just giving credit to the humble people that have made Sound Assistant. So when you click on Sound Assistant credit, you'll see the people that have put in tireless efforts and listened to customer feedback about what to put in there. It's worth giving them some praise and thanks. There's a lot of them. Okay, first actual feature that we find in here is called Customize Volume Panel. When you turn Customize Volume Panel on, you'll be easily able to actually customize the volume panel. It does as advertised. Now, if you haven't turned this on, it's a very basic panel that you can expand and it kind of takes up the width of your phone screen when it's open. If you turn customize panel on, you'll actually see some extra toggles and functions that you can utilize. To customize the panel, down the bottom of this menu, you see the custom menu, and you can customize the single panel and the expanded panel, and you can sort of add in and take away things that you do and don't want. It's completely up to you. Each function in there will do something cool. There's like direct access to equalizer, direct access to turn on live captions. It's a really clever little panel and it looks really cool. You can choose where the panel sits as well. So if you want the panel to be sitting lower, more within hand's reach, you can just drag it up and down and it'll do that. Have a play around with it. And then after you've done that, go into the next one, which is make your own panel colors. Turn this on and you can see down the bottom there, you can cycle between a number of different types of UI and colorways. Really cool. There's some really neat things. It's under something called Flex UI. Pretty cool. You can theme it as well. So move over to themes and you've got different theme options for colorways that you can make it look like. Completely customizable and up to you, the look and effect that you want to go for based on the options you have. You can also make your own theme. Again, you've got so much control in here when you use this interface. Moving down into the more volume settings. This is where you've got a chunk of features that are sort of more around changing volume and app volumes and stuff like that. First one you're going to see here is individual app volumes. So what's really neat about this is if you, let's say, launch Instagram and you want Instagram to not be too loud when you start playing Reels, you can set the individual app volume for Instagram in here. You can change it when Instagram is open and in the expanded app panel, but you can set it from here to always sort of be at that volume and then you can change it and tinker with it later. Really clever because depending on the app that you've got, you may not want it to blast or you may get that unsavory video sent to you that will be playing when you don't want it to. This is the way you can sort of avoid that before it even happens. There's a neat little toggle that allows you to turn on or off the control media volume from the volume buttons. So if you don't want that to control the media volume, you just want it to control the system and notification sounds, you can turn that off and it'll do that, but I don't know why you would want it to do that. Just, just leave it. The one under that is called Media Manner. So polite. It's basically, if you turn this on, if your phone is set to mute or vibrate, it'll also mute the media volume. So it just sort of syncs that up because without this on, if you mute or vibrate your phone, it'll keep the media volume at the same. Sometimes you don't, don't need that. Or, or don't want it. So you can turn this on to avoid that. One that I found extremely handy is the change step volume. So when you're changing and tinkering with the volume, the change step volume is basically how much you can increase and decrease it by at a time. By default, it's set to 10. 
So 10 steps at a time. Whereas this allows you to go anywhere from one to 10 and in between. If you don't want it to decrease by 10 every time you press the down button, you don't have to. It can decrease by five or nine or eight. Random numbers, it's completely up to you. This will allow you to do that. I've got it set to five myself. I just find that a really nice middle ground because it's in the middle. The next section allows you to use the volume up and down button as media key shortcuts. Not necessarily pressing it, but long pressing it. So the first one here is control music with volume keys. What you can do with this one is if you press and hold, it can change tracks. So press and hold up to go to the next track, press and hold down to go to the previous one. Pretty simple. It does only work when the screen is locked or turned off. So just be aware of that. Underneath that is favorite media app. So if you've got Bluetooth device connected, you can select a media app to play when you press the relevant media keys on that Bluetooth device. So if you wanted to launch Spotify, it will launch Spotify. If you wanted to launch YouTube, it will launch YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. We then have move on to the external audio section. The first one there is Bluetooth metronome. Pretty simply, when you have Bluetooth device connected, this will allow it to sync properly for sound for video. So normally with Bluetooth, there is a slight latency, whereas with this, you can adjust for that latency. So then the phone will actually recognize when to send the signal to line up with the voice. Very clever. And it just does little metronome thing that plays along. And when you've got your Bluetooth device connected, you can sync it all up using this function and feature. Pretty clever. Underneath that, there is advanced settings. In here, there's some pretty self-explanatory menus. If you've got Bluetooth set up or you've got a Bluetooth device connected, you can reverse the stereo for whatever reason. There might be a reason out there. Let me know if you do this. And there's a thing in here to turn on hear alerts and notifications through headphones only, which might be convenient for you. If your phone's set to vibrate, it'll still play it through, I think. The next one is to do with vibration. So it's not always about sound. Sometimes it's about funky little vibration. First one in here is customized vibration patterns. And this does as advertised. This allows you to create custom vibration patterns that you create for your ringtone and your notifications. Simply press the plus button next to the relevant one you want to create, and you can create a vibration by tapping on the screen. And then you stop it and it will, you can set it to be high, mid or low. And that is the one that you can then move to vibration settings and then set it when you're ready to. Clever. There's one under here called concert hall. Now when Dolby Atmos is turned on, you won't be able to activate this. So just be aware of that. But effectively, it's just meant to make sound sound like it's in a concert hall. Yeah. I'm embarking St. Mary Etna, which is a volcano. Yeah. We just booked this place last minute, and we managed to get the biggest apartment in the best location in Catania. Nothing, nothing too drastic about that. One that's in here that is both adorable, but also incredibly weird, is voice changer. Let's show you how it works whilst we're sort of standing here talking. So you turn this on and you basically record your voice. And then underneath that is a list of different voice styles that you can change it to. Very weird. Let's try one now, shall we? So I'll record my voice. Is that right? Is that right? Oh, good. It's just a really little snippet too. It's just a really little snippet too. So that's middle-aged man. Let's go for a warbling. It's just a really little snippet too. What about baby? It's just a really little snippet too. Robot? It's just a really little snippet too. What about ethereal? It's just, it's a, just really a really little, little snippet, snippet too. too. It's just a really little snippet too. Sci-fi horror. It's just a really little snippet too. That did say sound horrible. What about oh it's got a landline. It's just a really little that's a cool one. The thing is, I don't know what you're meant to do with this because it's got it here, but then where do you go with from here? You can create your own custom voice effect as well, which I'm not, I'm not going to play with, but you can choose a bunch of different things to play around with, which I think is really cool. Actually, what you can do with this, and I didn't remember until just now, is this will change your voice for any app that the microphone is going to use. So... With that, let me record a video. I'll just do a quick selfie while I'm standing here. Oh, my camera's a little bit. Clean your camera, everybody. That's, that's rule number one. Okay, the camera voice changer is on. It says it there, camera is using voice changer. So I want to see what this sounds like. I'm going to put this into the video so you can enjoy. They're enjoying it with normal voice. And then it's going to switch to this one. Oh, boy. Using 
voice changer. So I want to see what this sounds like. I'm going to put this into the video. That is kind of cool now that you can do it like that because you can think of different ways that you might want to alter your voice and send a video to someone. Hadn't considered it before. Anyway, this has taken a very large part of the video up, but hopefully you've learned something with it and I better turn it off before it uh, ruins anything. The last one in here is called multi-sound. Now this is probably one you definitely want to turn on if you like to watch two things at once. It could be that you like to have some music playing in the background while you're watching a YouTube video. Normally, the Spotify would stop and the YouTube video would be the one that takes over. Whereas okay, with multi-sound, okay. you can select the two apps here. that you want to play I'm sound from at the same time, and it will keep the sound playing from it. both. It's pretty clever, and just gives you that control and customization which you would never have had before. Here's a quick demo of how it works. Okay, okay let's go. The one I don't use as much is anyway, yeah. but I do actually use it. I find in particular in this game that I'm in. Okay, that is Sound Assistant. You might see in Sound Assistant down the bottom some were you looking for recommendations. The one that I would recommend checking out is Separate App Sound. I have done something about Separate App Sound in the past, so you might want to go back and check that out in one of my many videos that I've got. But that has been Sound Assistant, and I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please let me know in the comments exactly what it was that you got out of it, because I think there is some really cool stuff and useful stuff in there that can help you use your phone a lot better, especially when it comes to sound and noise. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. Please like it too. You can come find me on my socials. I'm on Twitter slash X, also on Instagram. Ciao, everybody. I'm uh, in Catania, in Sicily, at my apartment. I recorded the B-roll here at a desk in one of the bedrooms. So apologies, it's not my normal setup, but I've got to work with what i got when I'm overseas traveling. So I still enjoy the video. Still all the same information, same sort of recording, just done at a different desk. Arrivederci. And I'll see you in the next one. You!